Jedi Master Blaine, Entry 001, Historical Archives Division of the New Jedi Order. It has been years since the war with the Yuuzhan Vong has ended and the New Republic is still in the process of rebuilding. I have been tasked by Luke Skywalker to restore historical logs that have been lost due to the war. First entry, I will be talking about one of the most iconic ships that helped not only the New Republic fight against the Yuuzhan Vong, but against the Empire as well. The Rebel Alliance's iconic T-65B or the X-Wing Starfighter. The X-Wing was first made by the Incom Corporation for the Empire to help replace the aging TIE Fighter. The Rebel Alliance was starting to gain strength and the Empire needs something to quell the attacks. The Incom Corporation has been well known for making other starfighters like the Z-95 and the 170 Art clone starfighter during the Clone Wars. Before the Empire could get their hands on the plans, however, the X-Wing scientists that worked on them defected to the Rebel Alliance, taking the plans with them. The reasons for their defection is still unknown to this day. Were they spies or just people that saw the Empire for what it truly was? We may never know. The X-Wing was in many ways better than the TIE Fighter counterpart from the Empire. It was equipped with its own hyperdrive which allowed it to go on small attack raids instead of committing large attack forces to take out a single target. The ship was also equipped with its own life support which allowed pilots to have open helmets giving them more field of view which helped them in close dogfights against the Empire and later on against the Yuuzhan Vong. With four laser cannons and photon torpedoes, the X-Wing was able to carry out just about any role it needed to do. Still, the X-Wing still had a few drawbacks the Rebel Alliance had to face. The X-Wing was very complex and hard to maintain which made them very difficult to keep in working order. The X-Wing cost a severe amount of Republic credits, which meant there were short in supply of X-Wings, which meant the Rebel Alliance only allowed their most veteran and most highly trained pilots to fly them. The X-Wing had been in a few small scrimmage battles with the Galactic Empire, but the first true victory it gave was the Battle of Scarif, where the Rebel Alliance made a desperate and daring attempt to steal the plans for the Empire's new battle station. And a few days later, the same X-Wing flown by the famous Lou Skywalker was able to destroy this planet-killing station, showing the galaxy that there's still hope out there for the freedom of the galaxy as long as you're willing to fight for it. Looking back, the X-Wing has done so much for this galaxy, people just don't understand. The X-Wing has helped the Rebel Alliance fight against the tyranny of the Empire. Later on, it then helped the New Republic fight against the Yuuzhan Vong, stopping them from destroying everything that we hold dear. In my next entry, I'll be talking about another great iconic ship from the Galactic Civil War era. But, till next time, this is Jedi Master Blaine, signing off. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, remember to hit the like button, show your support, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback about this video, let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, folks, and have a wonderful day. And remember, may the Force be with you.